Because otherwise you're going to miss all of these Rob Dittos. You don't want to do that. Okay, so we were right. Maybe maybe that maybe that uh, Toon Link in the button check was specifically trying to call out Nintendo. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? The, the inner workings, <laughs> the inner machinations of his mind are an enigma. Okay, I'm trying to... I'm trying to look at tags here. Is Dill Dill's a red rob, right? Uh Dill Red yes. Rob. Yeah, no, Dill Dill is a red rob. Red Rob. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just my brain is already breaking a little bit oh, here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Dill getting a nice combo to start. This is okay, another thing about the matchup. You were talking about Nair. Yeah. What about down tilt? Oh. The other infamous Rob move. Meaning that whoever is on the ground, I feel like what do you do when ro two robs are down tilting at each other? This is like a Zen cone. What what happens? <laughs> so, a lot of times with ro a lot of times with matchups in mirror matches, you're both still doing similar stuff. Like there's no matchup where Rob's not gonna down tilt. There's no matchup where Rob's gonna try and use top. But it's about picking spots, and it's more about conversions and how you are able to either dominate stage control or make the most out of every hit depending on playstyle and Zamba is a much more of a I'm going to make every hit count kind of Rob while Dill she's trying to suffocate you almost still getting to standard Rob conversions but she's playing a lot of neutral and playing a lot of the a lot of off ledge and using those ledge mix up from Rob a lot more which can lead to powerful can uh, Powerful DI traps and 50-50s uh, like off of that down throw, but oh, here's it's, some. I will say that, first of all, Dill, she has been doing a really good job of anticipate of, like, I feel like this is the sort of thing where Zamba's approach to Nair is beat it out. He threw, he threw out the up tilt right before, oh, nice, so um, the, right before it could come out, whereas Dill is hanging back and then punishing the neutral air on landing. Uh... I would say that Zomba's strategy overall kind of working out a little bit better at the moment. Now, that is a tempo changer. And Zomba can be prone to tilt. So, <laughs> Dill needs, uh, she needs to keep her cool head. Honestly, no. Keep immediately capitalize. Uh, yeah, if and you immediately if, put on. The, yeah, no, it's the sort of thing, where, and that's what she is doing. Went from this, oh, you know, you totally are in the lead, to, okay, that was a bit of a momentum changer, but now seal the deal. Turn that momentum strongly in your favor. And Dill was able to do it for a little while, but the inherent risk to doing that is that kind of, you know, might get too aggressive, might get yourself punished. Uh, overall, though, I'd say it's working out for Dill. Almost taking that stock with an up air, 112% on Zomba. There are plenty of options at this moment. Dill can use the kill like that up smash. And all of a sudden, despite the fact this was three stocks to one, this is an even game now. Yeah, 76 is no it is no lead until it gets to around 100. Then things like back air will start to pressure and even kill. Kill? Yeah. That was the second back air that Dill died from. I remember once talking to Dill, and she said that Whenever she's playing, she uh, tries to never, at least, never die to the same thing twice. You can die, you can lose the game, but as long as you n you don't die the exact same thing, it shows progress, it shows the fact that you're understanding the match a little bit. So, the fact that both the first stock and the last stock were almost mirror images, definitely I think there needs to be a bit of a change in approach from Dill, maybe, especially when it comes to getting off the ledge like that, because it feels like Zomba is just maybe conditioning that ledge jump and then punishing brutally when it counts the most. Yeah, a ledge play is is an often is an often utilized tool in in these New York streams. I mean, home of John Numbers and their their ledges friend type of gameplay. But Dill does a very similar thing without grabbing ledge. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of mix up in how she goes about like that center area. Will she be aggressive and hold that double jump to come up with fair, come up with nair? Will she grab ledge and then utilize those full uh, mixes? This is why we see the stage like Kalos because you have an even further layer on top of all this with that platform. Shoutouts to Down Tilt, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Down Tilt needs the shoutouts. Everything can be the shout out every now and again. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to show love to your down tilt. Uh, everybody, show. 
poor one out for a down tone, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> <And they> were... <laughs> we got right. Dill utilizing that center stage and forcing Zamba into her positions of power. That being ledge play and these tech chases, super solid on Dill's I... part. Hold on a second. Up smash would have killed right there, right? Uh, perhaps. So I think that probably Dill did not react to the mistech. In the end, I think took notes from uh, where, how Zomba was getting stocks last game. That's going to be a back air at the ledge. The fact that move lasts so long and the hitbox is so big and it auto spaces. Yeah, it makes sense that that would be a great tool. Like a finishing tool to just go for when any opportunity presents itself. I love these dash in and out that Dill is doing. Trying to cover, still cover space and maintain her pressure but make, starting to make Zomba's Nair a little bit more unsafe. Dashing in to get these sh repeated shield grabs. And look, her completely bypassing ledge in order to still maintain this pressure even when in disadvantage. Good DI on up air. I mean, this is why you go to Kalos. So you can live till percents like this. Ooh. Rolling? No, just a neutral get up. And, and that grab gets called out by Zomba in order to find the spot dodge cancel down smash. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that almost killed this one. Be it. One more. With the back oh, another back air. No, instead goes for up air. Really smart mixing up because of the fact that Rob's aerial, some of them are monstrously slow, and the other ones are just so quick. And just mixing them up can really... Oh, uh, no! It's gone! Gone! This is why the character gets as much uh, recognition as they do. Because at any moment, if you have a gyro in hand, that stop, your opponent's stop can be gone without... With, with nothing, but still, Dill, if there's anything she can do, is she can keep a cool head, and that up smash out of shield will keep the game even. 52%, not much, and this is it can be one combo as long as they can find the starter. I will also say, I think that, you know, before you were talking about, oh, maybe 100%, but I think that as soon as back air threatens the kill, being trapped at the ledge becomes so much scarier. Like, at this point, Dill has to be worried. You know? Oh man, not even time to get past there. And just narrowly avoiding that up smash. Dill already at 132%. She's getting thrown off the stage time and time again. Another beautiful recovery keeps her alive, but only 3% onto Zomba. This might finally be the start to something, but oh yes, actually continuing it really smart. Trying to find these fares into down tilts. Nothing doing quite yet as Dill attempting to reset neutral. Good parry on the gyro. Again, bypassing much yet again. Zamba wasn't uh, prepared for that. And now percents are getting off the table because back air with this amount of range will start killing really, really soon. At the same time, a grab from Zomba would mean <laughs> death. Yeah. The fact that a grab is available to one and not the other could be a difference maker. Or Nair? just the fact that Nair. Yeah, it's going to be 2-0 victory. Zomba moving on in the winner's bracket into winner's semis. And we can, when we can see that last stock again, like this is, yeah, here we are. This is just the the benefit and the detriment of finding, uh, finding a starter at kill percents like this. Enhance. That up it just barely yeah, missing. We're, we're going we're gonna to back it up a little bit. Boop, boop, boop. And boop, boop. She finds the Nair on this platform, right? She finds the Nair over here, looks for the combo, but good DI on Zomba's part lets him escape and find the counter punch. So hold on a second, can we go back a few frames here? Um, sure. Not, you don't need to do one frame at a time. But it's like, uh -oh. how did that not hit? Okay, so let's, let's advance frame by frame here. The tumble, the, the neutral air. Yeah. The fact that Zomba pressed neutral air, reset, he was no longer, look, look at the, look at the, look at the displacement here. He flips upside down. <laughs> in a single frame, just reverses gravity in its entirety. Reverse. And the reversal is actually what dodges the up air. This one, that would have connected. Yeah, the arm, you can see the yeah, arm Yeah, you can see out. that the arm was going to be inside. But the fact that, <laughs> yeah, look at this. Okay, we're going to go back a frame here. Uh, uh, never mind. I, we're not going to go back a frame. There we go. Okay. The forward two frames, back two frames. Here, what? Here, here. What am I there doing? There we go. I don't know. Okay. See, there's, you see that arm? You see that They're arm? They're holding hands. That's so cute. Just two robs. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but that's like the, that's the power of your opponent 
getting out of true combos. Like, if you really have yeah. to find at high percents like that, you have to confirm your hits. Yeah, and it reminds and me. And normally, an air into up air is a confirmed, but yeah. good Deion's so, on So, uh, it reminds me 